What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, people? As you can tell, you know who it is, and if you see my pretty face, you know who's making the video. It's Mr. Warmack again. I'm in the fucking building. And today I'm wearing, well, I'm, a, I'm wearing these for a reason, because I'm kind of doing... 50 million things at once. So I'm, I'm in, a, in a, like I said, I'm in a Google Plus chat right now. Um, corn videos for you. We got the workers over here doing what they do. Nothing, but they should be doing something. But uh, we just, we're just trying to stay busy, stay positive, and keep this thing moving forward. And that's the thing I try to tell people. Look, man, I'm not worried about what you're doing. I'm worried about what we're doing. And if it, and if it affects us, if it affects you guys in a negative light. I'll take care of it, but I keep telling people, and I'm, I, this is going to be my topic for today, which you guys need to understand, and I'm, the topic's not me not caring, which I don't care what you do, I'm like, uh, we, we, we found our lane, and I'm cool, and I'm comfortable with that lane, the topic for today is going to be who you put your trust in, and a lot of you get what you put into this thing. Like today, or not today, well, I've, I've been seeing a lot of this happening on YouTube or internet overall. You will get, you will listen to a certain somebody, and you get so wrapped up in what they say, that the, the, what they, the words that they say become more important than the person and the, behind the deeds themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like the Jim Jones, like, and I don't mean the, the, I mean the Jim Jones that got you the people to drink that Kool-Aid down in Guyana town. James down in Guyana. It's to the point that you get so enamored and you want to you, you believe you have the same philosophy and you believe in what they say so much that their fuckery, and I, that's the only word I can use because it is their fuckery, you overlook that. And then when the shit explodes and hits the fan, you want to come back to people like me and others and say, well, I didn't know. Well, no. I'm like, no, that's not how it works over over here. It's not how it works. And if people are like that, don't watch my videos because I don't want you and I don't need you, really. What I do want, I want people who look at things objectively. I want people who look at things for their own self. Like, I, if I tell you something, like, I'm not a lot of you, number one, but at the same time, it's like, if it doesn't sound right to you, you have the right to challenge me, you have the right to ask this, that, and the third. You also have... The, the duty for you, if it affects you, to look this stuff up. Like, like I said, I'm not going to steer you wrong and give you bad information, but you have the duty yourself to, well, like, if it sounds right, it sounds like I do this all the time. I listen to a lot of people on YouTube. Like I said, I listen to YouTube more than like TV, because to me, YouTube's interesting. And if you feel that something doesn't sound right to you, you have to, you have to look this up. I mean. It has a search bar for it. The internet makes everything so easy. There's no reason, none at all, that some of you should be in the state that you guys are in. Like you'll follow a person and it'll sound good and then some, some, somebody will expose them or some, some type of shit will hit the fan. And all of a sudden, all the people want to back out and say, and then they like, like, and some people will let you get away with that. Not over here. We're like, mm, you're fucking stupid. And like, we don't want you on our team. Like, I want to interview people, but as far as, like, how can you fall for that? And if I did interview them, I know I'm going to go in on them. Because I'm like, well, didn't you know X, Y, Z? Why didn't you do check them out? Why didn't you ask questions? Why didn't you, I mean, it, I'm going to give it to you like it was given to me, like it was given to me when I was younger. See, just because somebody has a, the same opinion you may have, just because somebody may agree with what you say, it doesn't mean that they are like you. The internet has got shit to the point where it's fucked up for people, some of you people because you think because I say so, because they say something to you on the internet, that they're from your friends, you're gonna have like a relationship that we're gonna hang out together and do the X, Y, and Z. So look, man, we all have something behind you. We, you know, we all have demons, we all have this, we all have that, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta understand for yourself what you want out of life. I can't tell you what you want. If, if it's what, if I, what, what I say, to a lot of people it relates to a lot of people. But at the same time, is how do you know that I'm some psycho crazy killer? You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to relate to you people. Do your background on me. Like I said, like I'm like 
for my videos, I'm not a liar. And I, so that's why I, that's why I'm, I hang my linchpin on. Not to use linchpin because some of you pan Africans will start cracking about that one. But that's why I, that's why I hang my hat on. I'm not a liar. In real life, nobody can say, man, he was none of them. No. In real life, you know what they do? They ask me. That's why I do this. I didn't. I don't do this because, you know, I'm making tons of money off it. Trust me, if the goal is to make tons of money off of YouTube, then I'm in the wrong business. Yes, I do this for a fee, but like I said, I'm not doing this for the money. If I was doing this for money, I still wouldn't be working. But then again, at the same time, I'm lazy because I could be doing this for money. It's one big deal. I'll make another video on that later. But uh, I was known as a guy who other people, no matter what walk of life they were in, let me use that. Let me let me use that little parlay phrase. They would ask me, like, like, like they would ask me about other people, and they to the point that like I had to like even though the people I didn't like and people I wanted to see get fucked up, I was like, look, man, I don't know much about them. I didn't like I said because I knew. Like, people are understand words have an effect. Like, say, uh, let me put you this. Say, say back in the say like this back in, back in the street days. Say, say a dude was known as a rat. There is, you can, there's X, there's no, there's from A to Z that can happen to this person. All because you said that he was a rat. Like, if I say, like, I know a true, if, I, if a known truth teller tells you this, what are you going to assume? I have a history of doing this, like I said, and that's why I found out the power of words. So that's why I kind of toned it down a lot because I know it comes with responsibility. You know what I mean? I, I, if I say something, I know there's a domino effect behind that. That's why I never, if you look at my videos, and, and earlier on, yes, I had made videos about people, what they were saying. But if you look at those videos, what I was saying, I wasn't lying on people. I was saying, you know, look, man, here's why X, Y, and Z. And people were like, listen to me. They're like, this dude's right. Because, like I said, I'm not here to scam people out of money. I, I want you to. I want you to be successful. But like I said, success is whatever you feel comfortable with. I want you to do this. I want you to do. I want. I want you to see how I see things. I want you to travel and see other people's opinion. Like I said, I've traveled. I've seen different aspects of life, and I have friends from different races and different cultures. That's why I can't. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm a black American. I know the world. I know the world of real possibilities. I know the world of realities I'm faced with here. But I, I want people to travel because I've seen other aspects. Like I said, go to Brazil. Brazil has the most blacks out in the in the Western hemisphere, in the Western culture. I'll say that because that's where most of the slaves were shipped to Brazil and to Salvador. That was the point. Salvador, Brazil. But at the same time, if I tell you this, you gotta look it up and say, hey man. It might be Salvador, it might not be. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think it was Salvador. That's why I always tell people, look at what I'm saying. Another thing, a lot of people on here, they give you half-assed messages. They'll tell you something that's half-truth, half lie, But it sounds like the truth, because you're like, well, that didn't sound right, but that is true. If that happens to you, you need to further investigate this person. If a person is telling you something with a smile on his face and you question that, that's your, that, that light bulb goes off. Is that's, that's the time you need to say, hey, look, I don't know, man. This needs to be, and you do your investigation. Another thing on YouTube, you'll see this on YouTube. If a person cannot take your questionings, your questions, do they have something up their sleeve? And I'll say this. This happened to me a lot. Like I said, I quit making videos on people because people were getting real touchy. People start crying. People were literally crying in my inbox. Like, hey man, why are you doing that? You don't know. And here's the biggest lie you'll hear. You don't know me. Look, man, you're on YouTube. If you got the balls to put your opinion out on YouTube, you should have the balls to have somebody check your opinion. You shouldn't have your you shouldn't shrivel up and be like a like a little girl crying about it. You can check my opinion anytime you want, but like I said, you check my opinion that puts you on my radar. That puts you on my radar. Well then I'm I'm going in on you, trust me. And I'm, I'm exposing the lies. I'm exposing the deceit. And the way I'm, on, I'm exposed to the point where they're like, "Look, dude, tell the truth." But that's not. I, I blame the people itself because you're not looking. And you're not looking deeper than the words itself. And that's that's where I come in. 
where I'm like, look, man, you need to look at this person for what they do. Look, do they have a history of doing this? Do they have a history of being a scammer? You don't know that. And then, then you want to come and cry and make all these videos. Like, I see a bunch of videos on YouTube about somebody puts a trust in somebody on YouTube, and all of a sudden, they, it's like they pulled a the rug from out. And I'm like, did you investigate this motherfucker? Did you go back and do a deep search? Look, man, just because they look like this doesn't mean I trust everybody. They could smile on my face. Look, man, that's the worst type of slick motherfucker. That's like all these cats wearing suits trying to do your videos. Then they're acting like, well, well, he doesn't wear a suit. Look at all the cats that wear suits on YouTube and they're all fucking scoundrels. I don't wear a suit and I'm telling you the truth. People, see, people think because you wear a suit, that makes you more authentic and more realistic. Well, the crooks on Wall Street wear suits. Your average bus driver doesn't wear a suit, but he tells you the way shit is. So that's that's my problem with a lot of you people on YouTube. A lot of you people don't want to do the research. They really, like I said, I appreciate that you come to me and ask me these questions, and I give you the answers I can. If not, I will find them for you. But at the same time, it doesn't sound right to you. I do this many a time. I'll, I'll look it up and I'm like, this dude, what shit? But I, like I said, I don't make videos to no more. I used to, I used to comment bang left and right. People who know this, no, no, know me on YouTube. No, I used to comment bang all the time. It got to the point people were deleting my comments because I was like, man, they would say something. I'm like, look, man, I hustle for real. You're full of shit. And then I just give them X, Y, Z. My comments would disappear. That's a sign that somebody's trying to get over on you. Nobody should let you. I don't delete comments, but I'm gonna say if you come on my. <coughs> <coughs> 